What's going on guys? It's been like two weeks since I've made a video it feels like. So, we're starting off with a pretty good day. No joke, my stuff's not monetized and at least two out of three videos a week get copywritten. I'm racking up strikes on copyright free music. I have 200 subscribers. That's hilarious. Anyway, so it's been a banger lately. We've got a lot of parts for the Civic. That's pretty much together. Today we're off to get an ECU, other things, distributor possibly. We just picked up an HE hood for the Tahoe. That's probably the coolest thing we've got. Uh, oh, and I got my intake together. So today we're gonna go, we have cam kit coming today for the 5.3, we decide to cam it first. Lots of stuff coming in the next couple days that are actually possibly exciting. So today we're off to a junkyard again, third one this week, keep striking out. And we're gonna pick up some stuff that hopefully will make our stuff closer to running. So, let's go drive across the city for the third time today and it's like eight, yeah. <laughs> So, fun times today. As you can tell, quite the workout. So, I've been to two different junkyards, the second one twice today, because I was going for an ECU. They don't have any Civics. Like this one literally had zero Civics. The other one has any, they have like 12, 05 and ups, but how, did, how does it not have a Honda Civic? 90s, you know how common those are? Anyway, so, there goes one now. It's probably going to a junkyard. My luck. So, didn't get an ECU, but I got a whole lot of goodies from an Acura. So I got me some, I got a tensioner for an Alero. Exhilarating. Um, I got a shifter, a clutch, no, yeah, a uh, clutch pedal. Really feels like I got more than that. I was feeling really good about it until I just listed the two things I got. Anyway. I thought it was a successful day after reviewing my purchases in my day. Probably not worth it. So we've gone through 50 bucks of gas too in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go home. I got a lot of cleaning up. Probably gotta paint some things. Uh, then I gotta figure it out and drill some holes. I guess we're doing manual swap now instead of making the engine run. I'm cool today, so I'll see you tomorrow then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you will. We got a bit of a avalanche of parts. As you can see my shelf, the red thing, no longer on its shelf holding spot things. So we got us our shift linkage, B-series axles, intermediate shaft, master slave for the clutch, T-bracket, and then what else did I get? Huh? What else did I get? Oh, clutch pedal. That's what that is. <laughs> so. I have to reorganize all my parts that are not organized. Everything I love's gone. Okay, well, didn't film any of that because that was, as you can see, perfect. Tools of choice, angle grinder, and a Milwaukee Sawzall. She eats it. Oh man, this is tough. This is just for... So everyone can tell, I'm not just fat, it's very crowded in here. Someone should clean this. So, <laughs> it's the one job I was not looking forward to. Let's throw this hammer. That land right on the fucking battery, right on. So, for your manual swap, step one would be to cut the floor out. So that's where your shifter cable runs up for your automatic shifter. That thing. So pull the cable out from underneath to 10 mils, and then there's a 10 mil up to a bracket next to the engine. Uh, did not have to cut it this close. Uh, so heads up, people of the internet, 
not super necessary. Whatever. Uh, in the summer, she's going to get welded up. But for now, we're just trying to get her started. So uh, maybe we'll get these bolts in. Shifter, kind of done. We're good to go there. So that was the hard part. That will be the one thing that prevents anyone from doing this at home. It can be done. You can drill out. Oh, they're still on there. There are spot welds along the sides, but I'm not about that, so. No fires to report. Uh, I was shooting sparks with an angle grinder, as you can see, and there's nothing that has anything of flammableness near it or inside of it, such as this evap canister with its hose next to the sparks. I was thrown that way. It's a miracle I am still alive. It's my fine choice of uh, shifting this. Uh, for the manual swap, got a clutch pedal, got my shifter, it's all of an Acura, but I'm doing a B-series swap. So she should bolt up right here. Um, everything should run nice and smooth if I have all the hardware, which I'm sure I haven't lost anything. The only other things you're going to need are the master cylinder, which goes there. Then you need a slave cylinder for the trans. And then the hard lines, braided lines, rubber lines, whatever you use. So other than that, that should be everything for your manual swap. As far as the master cylinder goes down there, you do have these plugs you can pop out. Uh, so you don't have to drill any holes here. And then the clutch pedal should slide in uh, inside pretty freely. So that's, that's the other difficult part. T-brackets for your stain D-series. You will not have to change it. You just need the trans bracket that bolts to the transmission right there. Uh, again, I'm doing B-series swaps, so that's my B-series T-bracket. So, that's her, that's her together. Start throwing in shift linkage, deal with that bitch pin, which is a bitch, earned its name. It'll be shifting gears, man. All right, progress has been made. We now ask God, uh, what? We now got, <laughs> Jesus. We now got us some windows in the middle so that's the auto shifter pulled out. Then I had to cut out the floor to get this old girl out. This bathtub looking thing. Uh, so that's gonna be where your auto shifter cable goes through. We don't need that. The reason you have to cut this out is you got linkage that's now gonna run down the tunnel. So I am doing a B series swap as well as a manual conversion. So got my clutch pedal. And this is B-series linkage of an Acura. It'll be pretty much the same for a D-series though. Not the parts, the process. So the other thing that you can do is next to this brake pedal is where your clutch is gonna go. A lot of people will swap the brake pedal out to a uh, smaller size. Otherwise you have your clutch pedal sitting right next to your brake pedal. So I might do that down the road. I'm just trying to get it running. I'm trying to sort my life out, make sure you put things in uh, that look like they came out of the Titanic. Because this is looking pretty absolutely terrible. Right on. Uh, patch panel is going to have two bolts or something for now. Uh, eventually I will weld it in. That's a summer job. Put the shifter in. Now for a manual. The bolt holes are right here at the back. I just have to drill some holes there. I picked up some new bolts. Drop those down. That's going to be fun. I would like to weld those bolts, but again, that's a summer job. So, we got everything out that's automatic, pretty much. I guess we crawl under and start putting this bad boy together. This would be the perfect and ideal time to swap out these bushings. And the only other thing that should change, other than the master cylinder and slave, would be the intermediate shaft on the transmission. Well, boys, we got half her done. Probably cold out, I'm not having fun anymore. That's the hole in the floor. That's our super rusty linkage. That's our shifter in though. So I just need to tighten up some motor mounts, I think. And then uh, clutch pedal. I got a manual swap Civic. It's my first Civic that's a manual. It's my first Civic, wow. I really don't want to do the rest of this though. So. <laughs> Well, what's up guys? So here we are under the car, under the dash. Uh, so to put this clutch pedal in, you're gonna have a bolt up here 
at the top. Then you're gonna have a stud here and then another on this side. And these studs are gonna be on your master cylinder. And then the only other connection you need is this pin that goes through. It has two flat spots on the other side so it can only go in one way. And then you put this cotter pin through and bend it over there. So there's only those uh, four pieces of hardware you need. And then without the hydraulics uh, hooked up, the pedal will either spring forward or back. So that's normal. That's just, you don't have any hydraulics working, so it's all the uh, spring action in there. So that's your clutch pedal install. To insert that master cylinder, there are plugs on the other side, as well as this piece of carpeting that went there. So we pry that off, everything sticks through nice and easy. As you can see, people get the smaller brake pedal just because it's a little too close to that clutch. So that's what that was all about now that I have it in. From the inside, you do have to drill these two holes. You can see that there is a little bit of a dimple here. Uh, so it is already marked out for you. So you just drill those holes. What I'm going to do in the summer is I'm going to weld these uh, to the trans tunnel so that I don't need to hold a wrench up here, uh, but it is possible to just get a buddy. That's what we did. I crawled underneath, tightened them up, and that's that. And then everything will sit in a nice factory location. If you are gonna be doing this conversion, you're gonna have to take your exhaust off. There's a hanger right below here that you just pop off and let it dangle and disconnect it up by your header. So that is that. Again, I'm doing a B-series swap, so everything I have is from an Integra. The clutch pedal came from an Integra as well, but you can get uh, the D-Series from a Civic. I'll do the same. So that's everything in here done. That's the modifications you have to do. Um, other than that, same axles will work. You will need a new intermediate axle. That's for the driver's side, so that's, that's pretty much it. It's nice and easy. So that's a new master from here. Uh, as you can see... I cut that hose, so I will replace that. That's going to suck to do. That's a me problem now. So the master will fit in nice and happy once you get those plugs out. Fluid reservoir will bolt right here. Then you'll run it to there. I got the rubber line that goes from here up to the firewall somewhere about here. And then off the slave cylinder, it'll run up to the frame. And then there's a hard line over and across. That's really all you need. Once I get mine together, I'll show you guys how to bleed the slave cylinder or the uh, clutch hydraulic system. So down there is going to be your speed sensor and then there should be a sensor for the reverse which I think is this one. These are the only two lines that you're going to have to run from the cab and this will be for the trigger for your reverse lights now. So the connections you have up here that went to your automatic shifter in these plugins there are going to be two large wires. There'll be those two thick ones, the black with the white and then the red stripe. You bridge those together. And that's gonna be your neutral safety switch. You can run it up to the safety switch underneath on the clutch pedal. I'm not worried about that, so I'm just gonna bridge them here. And then I believe I have to find which colors they were again that were for the reverse lights and you just have to run them up along the dash here through the firewall then connect it to that one sensor. And that's all the electrical you need. I'll figure out those colors and put down in the uh, description. But more or less, that's everything. It's your shifter in. You get the new center console front half for the manual. And then uh, I can have this looking kind of okay. Obviously, biggest thing you wanna worry about while you're shooting sparks, if you're using an angle grinder, do not burn your car down. It's very frowned upon. It's kind of a pain in the ass, I'll be honest. So. Pay attention to where you're shooting sparks, wear your safety glasses. Uh, this thing's coming together finally, so I can start cleaning it out. That's how you do a manual swap. So I've definitely had more fun projects than crawling under this dash, but uh, pretty happy. Kind of a quick episode. Didn't film too much because it's bloody cold, so uh, that's everything you need to do. That's all the pieces you need. Uh, pretty easy. Now would be the time to replace the bushings for your shifter. There's gonna be one at the front, and then the bushing right here. Those are flimsy as hell. Mine are worn out, so I gotta do that in the future. Uh, pretty easy, pretty easy. So 
uh, my 99 EK sedan. She's got a B16 in her. Built that up. We're going to have some VTEC doing an OBD1 conversion and I have a P06 ECU I'm converting to a P28 automatic. Nope, manual. So, if any of that stuff sounds fantastic to you, keep your eyes out. Uh, I'm going to do that when it's warmer. Then I have a header coming that I get wrap. We're getting pretty damn close, so appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this uh, helps someone out. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll let you know what I can figure out for you guys. And uh, it's bloody cold, so stay warm.